guys, this is Tina from Shabby Dabby Doo Dah. Welcome back to my channel. So I'm here with tons and tons of vintage ephemera, um, genuine vintage ephemera. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Um, and I thought, let's come and make some masterboards and things only using vintage stuff. Um, so normally I'd kind of be inclined to mix in, um, you know, perhaps some, um, you know, patterned papers and things like that. But today I thought, no, let's just literally just go for patterned things. So I've got here a um, children's book. I obviously have made the collage masterboard scrapbooks um, before in the past. Um, I think we did that during the lockdown. And I, I absolutely love my collage masterboard scrapbooks. Now I have to say I have finally actually kind of not necessarily used them all up, but definitely kind of torn the pages out and, you know, started to use them. Um, so I thought, yeah, let's come and kind of do another one. I don't know whether I will actually kind of um, do the whole of this on camera. I suspect probably not because I'm sure you'll all get really, really bored of watching. But I thought let's kind of just come along and get started in it. So basically, if you didn't see my first time around video of the Collage Masterboard scrapbooks, it's basically just the concept of taking a book. I quite like these kind of children's books, which are like the larger books, you know, for very young children because you get a really big good size area to use as a masterboard and then basically just you know fill the book so I don't cover both sides I just do one side of the um, book and or one side of the page and then you've got this whole book that you can then flick through and you know choose a scrap a scrapbook you know masterboard that you want to pull out as and when you want to pull it out so yeah I've got sort of bunch of things here like I say ready to use so let's just get kind of cracking and um, yeah see what we can come up with so I'm going to start with some book page obviously this is some vintage book page and I'm just going to get gluing things Ooh, sorry just got my oops ink pad um, caught on my glue there so I'm just going to get gluing roughly you know wherever I'm really going to try my best not to overthink this which is an issue for me, you know, if you watch my channel, you'll know that I often say, oh, I'm not going to overthink it. And then generally within five minutes, I am overthinking it because it's just, you know, it's just something that, yeah, I can't help but do. Um, but I really am going to make a conscious effort to definitely try my very best not to overthink. So I've got my glue spreader, which I find very, very helpful, especially, you know, when doing sort of collage work, really. So I'm just going to start by, I think, putting some of the, this is, you know, obviously a dictionary book page. Um, actually, I don't think it is a dictionary book page. I'll take that back. This is just a um, an index page, you know, um, yeah, an index page from the back of the book. So I'm just going to get started, obviously, with that and then going to fill in the gaps. So I haven't really decided what works best for me when it comes to collage whether I find it easiest to actually just kind of, you know, work with all one page and then kind of fill in spaces. You know, I haven't really decided. So, um, yeah, I'm going to just use this method here now because this is, you know, this is just something that, you know, I don't find it a bad, a bad method, a bad way to kind of do it. So, and you can probably see, I mean, I'm going pretty close to the crease of the book, but not necessarily you know, right into the crease. So just going to, yeah, use a little bit more of the book page. And then, you know, get, whoops, get filling in some of the spaces. I'm going to try and keep, you know, to, well, I mean, obviously I was going to say neutral things, but yeah, I mean, to be fair, all of the ephemera type pieces are in pretty neutral colours so you know it's not really going to take on a very colourful appearance anyway you know even if I wasn't trying to do that it's you know just by nature of what it is you know the vintage kind of pieces they're not really kind of hugely colourful so yeah I'm just going to kind of go with that like that okay so just pop those down right then I have got this kind of um I was going to say ledger, but I'm not sure really whether I would actually define it as leisure, but le ledger, not leisure, <laughs> ledger, ledger paper. Um, but it's definitely, it's kind of like a vintage list of some sort. So I'm just going to, oops, glue this down. Like I say, really determined to not be 
overthinking this at all. So we shall see. We shall see how it goes. Okay. So, yeah. So I hope that everyone's having a good day, maybe doing some crafting, having a nice time. Let me know below, did you make a collage scrapbook masterboard, you know, when we made one last time, did you watch, you know, did you watch that video, do you remember that video, did you make one, what did you think? Um, I know that there's a lovely video from Anna Milford and um, she made a collage masterboard scrapbook, which I know that actually Gail Agostinelli did as well. Um, and they really enjoyed um, making them, I think, and using them as well. And um, yeah, I just wondered, you know, did you guys make one? If you did, you know, how did you get on? Did you find it fun? Do you love <laughs> flicking through it and then struggle like I did to actually use it? Because it's such a pretty, lovely book to actually flick through. Um, yeah, my biggest kind of thing was actually trying to make myself actually use the masterboard because or the masterboards you know because actually it was such a gorgeous book to just sit and flick through that actually then trying to make myself use it was um a bit of an issue i mean i think i made three of them in the end because they're kind of quite addictive to make and obviously you know they're a brilliant scrap buster they're a great thing to do you know when you you know perhaps can't think of what to do or you know you're lacking a bit of mojo or something like that they're just one of those kind of mindless activities that you can just do and like i say you're also going to you know do quite a bit of scrap busting in there right i'm just picking picking some more page Oops, to use um <clears throat> yeah i absolutely love 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 how mine turned out and i just wondered did you guys you know did you actually kind of make one along with me and what did you think to yours you know did you like me then just want to hang on to it just for the pleasure of looking through it because they do really you know turn out so lovely that actually you know they're very very nice to just sit and flick through because they actually take on a little bit of um you know like a 12 by 12 scrapbook pad they're a little bit like that by the end you know that they're just full of these gorgeous patterns and papers you know so yeah why would you want to then you know why would you want to then tear them out and use them well if you're anything like me you know and you struggle to use your patterned papers then you know you may take the same attitude towards your collage master board scrapbook and kind of not really want to use those papers either but yeah, let me know what you think. Was that your experience or is that just me? Just me who actually kind of then, you know, struggled to use it. Maybe you didn't struggle to use yours, but definitely, definitely, definitely I struggled to use mine. Um, but yeah, like I say, I did do three of them in the end, I think. And um, yeah, I mean, I've kind of pretty much used them all in some form now. So I thought, well, actually, I haven't done one since the lockdown, so you know quite a long time now and um yeah just thought well let's come along and you know do something like this again because it really was a fun project and and also you know it's very handy to have at the end of the project because of obviously i'm so sorry if you can hear my printer what you're left with is obviously all these different masterboards that you can then use for you know any upcoming project so i mean it's a really you know it's a win-win on sort of multiple multiple levels really right okay just pop that down there i think it's so hard to not overthink things isn't it if you're like me and you're a bit of a bit of an overthinker you know how do you avoid that how do you stop yourself from overthinking because i find it very very difficult you know and even when I kind of am um, determined not to like in this video and I said oh I'm not going to overthink it you know I mean actually trying to stop yourself is really 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 hard and you know so much harder than than you first expect I think so yeah what do you guys do to um, prevent yourself from you know just endlessly overthinking things I'd love to know <laughs> love some tips oh Okay, so I've so far, yeah, used um, obviously book page and the ledger, the um, sheet music. 
But what I've also got is obviously some, um, you know, vintage documents and paperwork. So I'm going to kind of go in with some of those as well now. The only thing that you have to be a little bit careful with when you're using genuine, you know, vintage documents and things, often they're on that very, very, very thin, delicate paper and the glue can really show through. So, you know, that's kind of just a bit of a word of warning. You know, they're not always very, um, like opaque, you know, they just do sometimes tend to bleed through, you know, the glue bleeds through. So yeah, that's just kind of something to, you know, to just be aware of, I think. But yeah, hopefully this one's not too, too bad. So let's just pop this down here. So I might do a few um, quite neutral pages and then, you know, we can come back obviously, you know, once I've actually done a few of them. And like I said, I'm not necessarily going to do them all with you guys because that would probably be pretty boring. But, you know, once we've done a few of them, then what we could do is come back and um, decorate them and see what kind of different looks we can get from using predominantly the same kinds of things, i.e., you know, the uh, vintage feel, but then hopefully taking on a very different look with each of the vintage masterboards. So um, yeah, hopefully that's going to be quite a fun thing to actually do at the end of this. And again, you know, that may take, may take ages to actually compile a bunch of masterboards, you know, so it won't necessarily be a, you know, very fast project, but yeah, that would be something quite fun to do, I think at the end, so. Right, I'm just having a quick flick through what else I've got here. So I've got some more of this. Oh, I'm so sorry about that horrible noise from my printer. Or oh, I have got this. Now this one is one of those ones that I mentioned that's very thin. Or oh, I have got this pink actually. Again, the pink is very thin too. Um, it might be marginally thin, thicker than the blue. So let's just see. Yeah, maybe marginally, marginally bigger. So, yeah, let's just see. Plus, this actually is very nice with the, um, you know, that kind of ledger page because that's got the red writing and this is pink. It kind of feels like it almost goes together quite well, doesn't it? Okay. just here okay like that and just mop up any glue and then yep so have a little bit of the pink I think up there in that corner that's not really a corner, but you know, that, that edge, like that. Okay, that goes well there. Oh, actually, like that. Nicer on that side, I think. There we go. Okay, right. And then we've just got a couple of gaps, so let's just see if we can fill in, fill in those spaces. Like yeah, how do you guys get on with collage? You know, do you kind of like to mix your papers up? Do you kind of like to stick with the same sort of colours? You know, intrigued to um, to hear tips and things really, because uh, and I know I've talked about this a lot, but. I always tend to use, like say, the same page or the same paper in multiple areas on a collage because um, if I try and be too, too random, I just, oh, I don't like it at all. You know, it just looks absolutely awful. But when I see other people do collage, you know, I actually really love it when they do that. So yeah, how do you guys kind of um, do your collage? Do you really mix it up or do you tend to be you know playing it safe like I do and just mix in 
multiple of the same, you know, the same items. Because I know that sort of Rachel and Gail and things, you know, they don't do that at all. They're very wild and free with their collage. And, you know, they are kind of like collage masters, aren't they? Because they really produce like these amazing sort of masterpieces. Really mixing it up. And, you know, yeah, I find that intriguing because I definitely can't really seem to pull that off. As soon as I start mixing in multiple things, it just looks like a huge, great big mess. So, yeah, I'm intrigued to know, you know, what do you guys do? How do you kind of do yours? And if you do, oh gosh, sorry about my printer again. If you do mix it up hugely, you know, is there a sort of secret technique to actually then pulling that off successfully? Because, yeah, like I say, whenever I've tried to do that, it just looks like a huge, great big mess and not look good at all. So just intrigued to um, get any tips or anything. Right, so that's my first page in the Collage Masterboard scrapbook. So already we've just worked through and got an entire page there ready. And that can then be torn out as and when we feel like it and used obviously to make ephemera. So I'm just going to turn the page now and work on the next page along. So like I say, I'm not going to do the back of it. Um, I think I have to say, I think Gail um, Agostinelli, when she did hers, I think she did work on the backs. Um, but yeah, that's not how I did my first one. And you know, I don't, I don't want to do this one like that either. Um, only because when I come to use it, I probably will just use it to make ephemera, in which case, you know, I don't really see any need to do the backs. Gail, I don't know whether she possibly then went on to use hers, maybe as more of an art journal or something like that. Um, you know, I don't honestly know, but yeah, maybe that would be, you know, that would be a really good way to, yeah, to create a base for an art journal. You know, that sounds quite a fun thing to do. Maybe, in fact, we, um, you know, maybe we should kind of do that, have a collage masterboard scrapbook and then use that as an art journal. I mean, for my art journals, so I'm just working now on the second, the second collage masterboard. Um... When I do my art journaling, I do have, you know, and again, if you watch my channel, you'll know, I've been using a recipe book, um, which is smallish. I don't know what size it would be, but smallish. Maybe similar to sort of A5 size. And I've tended to do, um, you know, double page spreads in that one. And then I've also been working on, it might be like a 10 by 10 size, perhaps, of the buff coloured um you know paper like it's a scrapbook you know it would have been sold as a kind of a scrapbook that's not obviously what I've used it for but yeah that's kind of predominantly probably what it was originally intended as um and on those I haven't done double page spreads I've done single you know single sides um but yeah I mean I'm hugely loving doing any any form of the art journal and it's just so fun and, you know, just you can just be so completely wild, you know, with what you come up with and what you do and what you put together. Um, you know, which I think you can quite a lot in junk journaling, but even more so with the art journaling. Um, so, yeah, I've really had a lot of fun doing that. Now, I'm just going to actually cut this down because um, I did have quite a bit hanging over the page on the last one. And, yeah, I'd probably prefer it a bit less so. So, um, yeah, I'll try and kind of snip it down when it's going to be likely to hang off the page at all. So, like that. I don't mind it hanging off a bit, because obviously when I come to use it, I can then trim it out. But, yeah, where possible, I'm going to try and trim it down. Okay. Uh, we'll just have another, another bit of sheet music, because, you know, we can always kind of cover things up a little bit. If you're thinking, wow, she's really gone crazy with the sheet music on there. Oh, so sorry. There's that horrible noise from my printer again. It's obviously every time it grabs the next sheet of paper, it's not, not sounding very happy. But it's, it's fine. It's not jamming or anything. Well, so far anyway. Let's not speak too soon because no doubt it will be in a minute. But yeah, so far it's not. Right, so I've now got this absolutely gorgeous paper. Now this is from the back of a... Um, you know the back of a sheet music the cover and I absolutely love 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 this color because of course it's a bit like a craft color um you know which I just I'm instantly drawn to you know that craft color 
it's yeah just I don't know what it is about it but I absolutely love the craft colour stuff you know um, I don't know whether it's because I think it looks really vintage or I don't know why I really love it but yeah I do really love it so um, yeah this is just gorgeous you know, and hopefully looks gorgeous now on my collage okay and then let's just go over here like I say try my absolute best not to be overthinking Oh, there's something so satisfying about this. And honestly, the other thing is a bit like the art journal. I find myself then I can't wait to get this book down, uh, done. Whoops, sorry, flicking my wipe around. Um, can't wait to get this book done just to be able to have a look through it. I know that sounds a really strange thing to say, but yeah, I can't wait to be able to actually get it done, to be able to just sit and flick through all the beautiful collage pages. Um, you know, because it really is such a lovely thing to to look through and flick through so yeah it's kind of like very rewarding just from that point of view on its own you know even without using the things that you put in here it's very rewarding just to actually just sit and flick through so okay like that okay and then actually I have this one down here might just tear that over slightly. I mean, I did say I wasn't going to overthink this, but yeah, already we've started over, or I've started overthinking. So yeah, let's just pop that down there. Okay. I find it quite hard to do things from the vintage ephemera as well, because of course I just want to hoard it. Um, you know, so this as well is kind of like hard for me because I don't mind making the collage masterboards from printables where, of course, I can just print more off. And even then, ironically, you know, there's some pieces of paper that I still find myself, you know, struggling to tear into because I think, oh, it's so nice, I don't want to tear it. I mean, that's just ridiculous because I can just print some more. But when it's the, uh, the, uh, the vintage stuff, of course, there's a huge... Um, tendency to just want to actually like hang on to it completely so yeah this is kind of like a, um, <laughs> a tough exercise for me to actually be being so extravagant here using all this vintage stuff so I think purely because you know once it's gone it's gone and it's not like you can then get it back I mean obviously I do scan in um, a lot of vintage stuff you know where I can um, I don't think I've scanned in obviously any of these bits because you know they're not quite so unique it's you know some old newspaper and things like that but yeah I mean obviously you know where I can I do try and scan things in obviously um, you know and I mean obviously I use it a lot for you know for making things then but yeah, on the whole, um, you know, this just feels like, oh, you know, this is this is extravagant because I'm using these things that I can't then get, a, you know, get again. Um, you know, which feels like, oh, risky, risky, risky. Will I will I regret using things? You know, but yeah, might take that that way round. Okay. I love as well this colour of newspaper um, I, because again it's a little bit like the craft colour isn't it it's just that gorgeous kind of tones of this sort of brownie colour which is just so yummy you know it's so vintage and so lovely looking isn't it so yeah again very 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 drawn to that <laughs> and doesn't it just look lovely when it's actually put down on this um you know with the other vintage papers so yeah really really lovely right let's put some on this corner again just going to trim this off at the edge so it's not overhanging quite so much I wonder if I could manage to make the entire collage masterboard book you know neutral and vintage I mean there's quite a few pages in this book so I'm thinking straight away that's a no because my goodness 
I would have to be being very generous with using lots of vintage things to, you know, fill up the whole book with vintage stuff. But, oh, I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's doubtful, to be honest, that I would ever, that I would ever manage to make myself use that volume of stuff. But, um, yeah, it would maybe be quite nice to do. I mean, I guess the other thing is it would, um, you know, possibly then look quite boring flicking through because it would actually all look the same, you know, because it would all have the similar... Oh, I can't actually even see whether that's up the right way or the wrong way. It would all have very similar tones, wouldn't it? And similar, you know, similar pages. So perhaps that, you know, that would just be really boring anyway. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so I, it's very doubtful that I will be doing that. Okay. Let's just see about popping that on there. Okay. So, yeah, luckily... Luckily, it would probably look boring, so I don't need to feel the pressure to actually get that done. Okay. There we go. Okay, right. I did just tear that paper, so I'll just kind of press that down again like that. Okay. Right, let's have a look and see what other actual kind of paperwork we've got rather than sort of book page. So I've got this, which is a patent. Um, I don't know, some sort of invention or something. I'm not sure what it's for, but yeah, we we'll take some of this. Um, and I'm thinking in particular, obviously, this, this kind of header section. Because, I mean, obviously, this section just pretty much looks like book page, doesn't it? But this header part or header portion... It's rather nice, isn't it? So I'm thinking, you know, put this down in a few places and it looks really rather nice, doesn't it? So, yeah, let's take this. Okay. Well, that's nice, isn't it? Okay, squish that down. Have to be very careful because some of this is pretty delicate paper. So obviously where I just tore that newspaper, trying to be a little bit more careful with this because this also is, you know, pretty delicate paper. I don't want to just tear into it. So there we go. Right. Let's, uh, yep, let's just tear this one down. So maybe something like that. Or maybe that could go there, in fact. Yep. Okay. There we go. Again, just squish that down. Like that. Okay. Right trying to hold on to some of these bits because they're just so nice <laughs> but yeah ridiculous even when I'm actually using it I'm kind of using and hoarding at the same time I mean really what is that about and how how can you actually use and hoard at the same time it's just beyond me but that was what I was trying to do <laughs> use and hoard I mean oh my goodness ridiculous right Okay. There we go. Again, just mop that up a bit. Okay, so then we've just got this like section here really left. So yeah, perhaps we'll have this, or perhaps actually we'll have this up here, I think. Yeah, okay. And then I'll look through and find some other vintage ephemera in a second like maybe a you know sort of um invoice or something like that to obviously put in you know something that's a little bit different looking so it's not all just text looking the same so there we go okay i've got this tiny bit which we could just have like there just because I might as well use it now, it's just laying around on the desk. So, yep, yeah, let's just pop that there. 
Okay, right. Now, let's have a look and see what other stuff I've got. So, yeah, I've got some other bits of, like, invoice-type type looking pieces here. I've got this here, which may be quite nice. There's not a great deal of, kind of, text and stuff going on on this. That's the only thing. Um, but, yeah, we can definitely tear it down and, kind of, use use sections so like there for example we could have that there I mean it's a bit of a shame because it's not the thickest piece so it's not really going to cover up where it says here on the on the original children's book case of cooking but again when we come to actually use it then as a piece of ephemera that would be when I would try and cover that up so you know we've kind of got it there anything that shows through here I would then try and cover up when I actually come to use it as a piece of ephemera. So, you know, it gets covered up at that point. Okay. Just pop that one down there. Like that. Oops. Okay, right. And then, yep, we've just got a couple of spaces now. Just one, two, three. So we'll just fill those in. Okay, let's just tear this one down. So, yeah, that's quite nice there, isn't it? Okie dokie, like that. Okay, let me just wipe that now with the wipe. And then, yep, just fill in these last couple of bits. So, let's take that there. Are you okay, sweetheart? Yeah, that's fine. I won't bother coming. Thank you. All right, then. Love you. Bye. Have a nice time. That's my son, he's going to the gym and normally I go to the gym first thing in the morning. I didn't go this morning because I wanted to just crack on and get some work done. But then when um, he was getting ready to go, I felt, oh, I've not done a workout, I should really go. But to be honest, I probably should just crack on and do some more work. So um, yeah, I'm not going to go. I'm going to just, just get on and do some more work. So yeah, right. But I didn't want him hanging around for me, you know, thinking, oh, she'll finish in a minute. You know, so I just wanted to let him know that he could go and not worry about me. Okay, so I'm just going to put that one in there. Okay. Like that. Okay, there we go. So, yeah, looking pretty good. That's two, two pages done now in our Collage Masterboard scrapbook. So we've got this one. And to be honest, you know, given the fact that they're using, you know, all vintage ephemera and, you know, a lot of the same pages. I mean, we've used a lot of kind of um, sheet music and things and same on here. But they have two very different looks, don't they? I mean, obviously, this has got a lot of the orange. Um, and this has got, you know, a very pink kind of look. So I'm just going to continue on, um, you know, with another one. So I do apologise if this is really super boring to watch. But I mean, I could just get on and do it, you know, on my own in slow time. But it's always nicer, obviously, hanging out with you guys and chatting and things, you know, rather than just me hanging out on my own at home. So, um, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's a case of... Oh, let's, let's just um, carry on then. Yeah. So I'll just do one more. So we'll try and be a bit sort of speedy about this one, shall we? Okay. Right. Let's just go for this. So again, this is that patent. Um, you know, the paper from the patent. So, yeah. And this is not very thick paper. Like I say, it's quite a fragile page. There we go. Like that. Okay. I 
I'm actually thinking what I would quite like to do is, um, you know, go on from the vintage theme to vintage ephemera with some vintage wallpaper. And, you know, I was lucky enough to be gifted a lot of vintage wallpaper in the Happy Mail quite a while ago. And again, I've been hoarding that quite a bit, so I've only used it once or twice. Um, but I could probably, um, you know, do a couple of pages incorporating vintage ephemera with vintage wallpaper so I'm thinking that would be quite a nice thing to do so yeah I might do that for a couple of pages okay there we go spot the glue like that Okay. There we go. And then, yeah, we'll just have a little bit up here, I think. So. And, you know, to be honest, it doesn't matter because, like I say, you know, if you kind of sometimes think, oh, well, that's a really big piece of paper there or something, a lot of this will be covered over you know when we kind of put other pieces of paper on they'll probably overlap quite a bit and things and so actually cover up quite a lot of what's on here anyway so you know it's not kind of um the end of the world if you kind of put pieces on and think oh, that's, that's massive you know then actually chances are some of them are going to be covered up partially anyway so it's not kind of a big big worry or anything Right, so we've got that. Now let's put in a bit more of this. I do really love this um, stuff. And the other thing that's quite good about using this is it's very thick and so it's very hard to, um, you know, the underneath pictures to see through. You know, they're not coming through it at all. That sentence didn't really make sense. I don't know why I said it's very hard to see through. But yeah, it is very hard to see through. So it's technically it's covering up um, what's underneath, what's on the actual book page, where obviously some of the paper, you know, is not particularly thick and it's not really then, you know, doing a great job at covering up, you know, the underneath uh, what's on the book page. So yeah, this is brilliant at covering up because of course it's so very thick. You know, because it's the cover, obviously, of the um, sheet music. So, yeah. Right, there we go. That took a lot of waffling, didn't it, to get that information across? <laughs> okay, right. So, yeah, again, we just have a bit here, I think. Like that. And then we haven't got much more of this um, cover left. Well, like, I think there is some more, actually. But, yeah, from this particular piece that I just kind of bought in, it's only got a little bit left. So we've been quite good at scrap busting this. Okay. There we go. I think I have that there. Okay, like that. Okay, looking good. Right. Okay, what else should we have? I was thinking, should we have one without sheet music? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know whether I want to do that. Because the problem is, if we don't have the sheet music, I'm not sure I've got enough other things, you know, to kind of make it look interesting. So we might have to have to have sheet music well, let's just see so we could have we could have some of this down here somewhere mm. just cut this down here on the side like that. well that's quite nice isn't it 
and like I say, I mean, it's not, you know, it's not kind of the be all and end all because obviously, you know, this is going to be all decorated up anyway, you know, when we come to be using it. So, you know, try not to overthink and not get too hung up on, oh, is that the right piece? Is that, you know, is that going to look good? Because, you know, it's not worth kind of spending lots of time thinking about it because it's going to be, you know, used or covered quite a bit anyway once it's actually getting used in its actual form if that makes sense so okay like that okay like that uh right what else have i got i have got this book page which is teeny weeny which uh, that might be quite fun to have some of that somewhere because it's so tiny it's obviously got quite a different sort of appearance hasn't it it um yeah it doesn't really kind of look the same because it's just weeny weeny text so yeah we could definitely have some of that it's very thin book page so i suspect this is not going to be covering the underneath very well either so i might regret using this but let's give it a try okay like that. Okay, okay. Like that. And then this piece. Yeah, I might just even put this piece. Or maybe here or something. So just, you know, again, just to actually make it, you know, make sure it gets used. So, yeah. Let me just put my glasses on because I couldn't actually see whether that was up the right way or the wrong way then. Okay. Like that. Okay. Right. Then we shall go for... Oops, got some more notebook here, kind of in list type form. So, yeah, we could definitely have that here. That's rather nice. I mean, these are just kind of somebody's lists, aren't they? You know, from the past, but something so nice about them, you know, whether it's because it's just, you know, you feel like, wow, I mean, that was somebody's actual list, you know, from times gone by, you know, I don't know, but yeah, there's something kind of really nice about it. Right, let's uh, just take this portion here, probably put that in there. Tear that down, okay. Okay, like that. Okay, right. What else have we got? I'm going to keep this. Yep, definitely. Just hold it, you know, just yep can't bear to throw things away so let's just hang on to that should we need it ever again okay what else have we got here just having a quick look in my lap to see because i've got some things piled here on my lap and then i've got some things beside me so right on to the things beside me now okay so yeah might have to go for this sorry about the um you know moving around on my chair here so yeah let's take some of this So yeah, let's have that on there. This was one of the first pieces of vintage ephemera that I ever bought. Um, you know, when first kind of getting into junk journaling, this was one of the first things that I ever bought in a sort of bundle from a car boot sale. So yeah, like obviously I've scanned it, but yeah, it's kind of like, oh, you know, I've hoarded it for all that time. Because actually I have now been, um, you know, making junk journals quite a long time. I hadn't really realised how long it was, but 2017 I started. So, um, yeah, obviously I'm filming this in 2022. So, yeah, we're kind of like now five years on, which, you know, that's quite a long time, isn't it? It's surprising how time 
flies so quickly but um, you don't kind of notice it going do you oh, it's got a price on the back I paid two pounds fifty for it so yeah can't remember obviously what I paid for it but I paid two pounds fifty it's not the oldest but oh, it's quite a nice piece to be honest so right I'm just wondering if I want to have the postage stamp portion. Oh, it's got, oh, it's got, oh, look. Now, again, I'm now thinking, oh, why didn't I continue to hoard that? Because it's really nice on the back. <laughs> oh, dear. Right, okay. Let me just tear this part down instead. And perhaps I'll put this part on there. Okay. Right, I'm just going to tear the edges down just because it's a little bit on the big side. Um, and also, you know, I just think it would benefit from having the the edges torn, to be honest. It just looks a bit better, I think, there. So, yeah, let's put this one down. Okie dokie. Right. Get that one on there. Okay. Right, looking good. So that's another page done. So, I mean, we're racing through this scrapbook. We have done three pages, would you believe, already. And I'm just having a look at the camera. I think we're like 45 minutes, I think it says. So, yeah, 45 minutes. We've done three pages. I mean, that's 15 minutes a page, which is pretty good, isn't it? You know, we've got now three absolutely yummy, lovely pages that we can then come along and use. So, yeah, I hope that you like them. I think we've made a good start. And yeah, like I say, I don't know whether I will um, continue with this with you guys because obviously it's, you know, probably going to be pretty boring to just keep watching me do the same old thing. Um, but I will continue kind of through the book and then, you know, if I don't manage to get everything done, maybe we will come back and just, you know, use it as is. Um, but I'm going to try and kind of continue through the book before we actually go in and start using it. Um, yeah, I think I, I think I should try and get it done anyway um but yeah i really hope that you like it hopefully it's kind of inspired you to maybe dig out some of your vintage pieces but you know who knows maybe like me you've been hoarding them as well um and yeah get them out and kind of have a bit of a play around with them so thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys tomorrow thanks then bye